Okay, evening all. So, here I am, wild camp number six, uh, out in some woods near Hollingbull. Not too far from home, but I've dashed down here after work, tried to get here for the sunset, and unfortunately there was no real sunset. The clouds came in from about three o'clock, two o'clock, something like that, and there wasn't really any sunset to see. It, it was uh, getting pretty dark by the time I'd finished putting the tent up. It's the end of the first week in February. As you can see, I'm sitting out here just in a fleece. It's about 10 degrees on the way down here, so definitely not going to get any snow tonight. I keep seeing the tabloid press threatening for snow, but I don't think it's going to come in the near future. Definitely very warm tonight. The forecast is the wind should be picking up through the night. Um, it should be gusting to about 29 miles an hour. I'll be surprised if it does that here though. I'm really in quite a sheltered spot. There's a quite a large hill up behind me there and a valley which you won't be able to see down in front of me there. I'm looking west straight towards where the sun would have set if I'd got here early enough and if there had actually been a decent sunset and then there's another hill over the other side so I am in a fairly sheltered position. Okay. Now just gone six o'clock it's completely pitch dark a little bit of lightness left in the sky over in the west but can't see anything without the head torch and the lights so I made myself a uh, minced beef hot pot ready meal and a cup of tea which I think I'm going to tuck into now as the sun is now well and truly past the yard hole, I've got my trusty flask, which of course I only bring with me because it's got tape around it. I may need the tape to repair things, otherwise I'd leave it at home. But much deserved. Cheers. Now let's see what this hot pot tastes like. Expedition quality adventure foods. Hot pot. Looks like baby sick. Oh, it's mashed potato. Actually, quite tasty. With a bit more seasoning. So this is my second time out in the Alp Cangri. I am vastly over tented for today though. Um, it is an expedition or a mountain tent and I sure ain't in the mountains at the moment unfortunately. But it is a lovely voluminous tent. Sit upright, loads of room, foot above my head and it's wide and it's long. Two person tent. but you easily fit two people in here, usually two people uh, and then nothing else, this one will fit two people and your bags. Really nice robust tent because it's an expedition tent. Unfortunately it also weighs four kilograms so it's not a light carry, not something you want to take very far and ironically not something you want to take up a mountain which is exactly the place it's going to be of use. A few hours before I go to bed yet, but I had actually forgotten to take my sleeping bag out to let it clump up. Leave that over there. Hopefully, next couple of hours, we get some air back into the down. Now, being in the forest, I've got loads of brambles around. I tried to pick somewhere without brambles. It was quite difficult to find any particularly flat spots in there. It's on quite a hillside. I cleared away the, the dead brambles that I could find. I'm sure there are a few underneath. I may have a few puncture marks in my tent by the end of the night. Ho oh, hum. I have got a cheap foam mat though to go underneath my sleeping pad. So fingers crossed, I won't puncture my sleeping pad. <laughs> So this will be okay down to really arctic conditions, which I don't intend to be camping in. But it's a comfy pad and there's no harm in having a warm pad even when the weather's warmer. 
another new addition to my camping equipment is a Thermarest pillow. After a long time struggling with inflatable pillows, I saw this in Cotswold Outdoor and they had it on special offer. And it's full of recycled foam inside. And you thump it up and it actually gets more like a home pillow. Not quite as big as one, but it's really comfortable. It's so much better than the air pillows. It doesn't squeak at all. Really, really comfortable. Again, second time I've used this. Really like it, but I should have got it out earlier. Okay, this was my spot for last night. Leave no trace. The sticks that I moved out of the way to make my sleeping area flat last night, I put in a little pile and I've now put them back, sprinkled them around the area where I was and I've turned the leaves over. And you can't actually even see that I was here, apart from my rucksack, of course. So, time's moving on. So I'm going to head back over that way. Okay, so we're coming to the end of my sixth wild camp at High Woods near Hollingbourne and I didn't get to see the sunset and I'd pitched on the west side of the slope so I wasn't going to get to see the sunrise and it's actually a lovely clear morning as you can see over there which is to the west so I missed the sunrise because I was facing the wrong way ho oh, hum wasn't supposed to be a decent sunrise anyway gates and rucksacks. They never work very well, do they? I don't know if you can see through the trees over there in the sunshine, just beyond that chalk scar. There's a place up there called Eden's Hull. That was my other option for tonight. Again, not too far from home, so I could get here after work. I decided to come up to High Woods instead, leave Eden Hull for another day. Actually, I was a little bit too warm last night. The forecast for the night was about 9 degrees. According to my watch, the tent got down to 10 degrees. And having the RAB sleeping bag, it was a tad too warm. I had to sleep with it unzipped all night. I had to take my socks off and had to keep sticking various appendages outside of the sleeping bag just so that I could keep cool enough. But I did have a relatively restful night's sleep. The new sleeping pack, Thermarest X Therm. Some people report it's like sleeping on a crisp packet. I have to say, I didn't find that at all. Didn't find it, it was noisy at all. Supremely comfortable, supremely warm. Definitely not like sleeping on a crisp packet. I don't know whether it's because it's February or it's because of where I've chosen this time, but I have to say, I haven't seen anybody at all on this hike. Right from leaving the car, walking up here, setting up camp, breaking camp, and coming back. I haven't seen a solitary soul. It's actually been quite nice. 